Hello people. Today I'm going to show you how to create a closely alert icon. Okay, let's start. Uh, first we need to create a new Photoshop document. So let's go File, New and City Settings. Okay, now click OK. So First we have to create our back background for this icon, so go right click on custom shape tool and select custom shape tool. So now right click on your, on your document and you will see this big list of shapes. If, don if you don't see this list then go click here and select all and click OK then you will see everything ok so let's choose our shape I guess I will use this this one ok now you can hold down shift to well if you hold down shift then your shape will be like correct in correct shape so I will hold down shift click on document and drag so we will have something like that okay now um, double click on your layer one it brings up this layer style box so uh, first go to gradient overlay click on gradient so now we have this gradient here and we can replace those colors so first let's replace white color let's choose something something ye nice something yellow okay I will use this this color now click OK uh, now it's time to replace black black color so double click on it and let's select something a little bit orange or or something like that okay this color is fine now click OK and click OK again now let's go to stroke size one one is okay now there is like many possible ways to create your stroke um, I will use color at the moment but you can use gradient which has also great options but at the moment we will use color so click on color and let's select something something nice something something gray okay this is this is nice color so click on OK now go inner glow blend mode normal color will be white now change size to to 2 okay so that's all at the moment okay uh, click OK so now cr uh, select text tool and write this on your icon use use the font that you like I will use something like maybe maybe something more rounded okay this is pretty nice make sure this color is black okay um, now position it to the, to the center of the document now so create a new layer and choose 
or select elliptical Margui tool. Now try to do something like that. Okay, now go edit, fill, and make sure it, it's right. Okay, click OK. Now uh, select layer 1. Go select, load selection, and click OK. Now select layer 2 again and go select inverse. Now you see this. Um, click delete button on your keyboard to remove this excess white color. Like this. Okay, now um, it looks like this at the moment. So go to here. Click here and change it to something like that okay change this opacity to 15 percent and you you have it that was so that simple also you can add whatever you like or whatever you want there but basically it it works like this so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please sign up on real designs form forums and and let's see another time okay have a great night and see ya